Hello and welcome to Metric Insights. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage really powerful functionality offered in our system, notifications, which comprises alerts, favorite digests and bursts, with each of them serving a particular purpose, but together being a flexible and powerful tool for monitoring changes, especially critical ones. To learn about each type of notifications, refer to other videos on this channel or to our help docs. Helpful links are in the info box. To check out what kind of notifications you are subscribed to, to configure them or to turn them on or off, hover over your user menu and choose My Notifications. And first off, look at this toggle. Right now, my notifications are on, but if for whatever reason I want to stop receiving them, I can turn them off like so. Now I won't get any emails, digests or phone alerts I'm subscribed to you. But there is a trick for favorites and bursts. I can request immediate digests for them by clicking Send Now in the respective tabs. But let's return to the Notifications tab. There is no need to block all notifications. You can choose to receive only those which are necessary for you. For example, I may have no interest in receiving collaboration notifications, expired element and alert digests, so I unsubscribe from them. But Favorite Digest, this burst and all alerts which are configured as immediate may be useful for me, so I will choose to receive them. To make sure that they come to the right email address and at the perfect time when I have an opportunity to analyze them, I can configure each of them by clicking this Edit Gear icon. Let's configure one of the subscriptions right now and let's use Favorite Digest as an example. But first, let me define what the Favorite Digest is. If you open a homepage and look at the upper section of the left sidebar, there is a list of your favorite folders. You can choose to receive a daily notification when any or all of the elements contained in these folders have been updated or reflect a change in significant data. Let's try to configure it. First, I specify an email address here. When should this email be sent? I can choose either public or private schedule. Public schedules represent default options and private ones are created by you in your own account. We'll cover more about this in a minute. As mentioned before, you are likely to have more than one favorite folder, so choose whether you want to get updates for all of them in one single email or one email per each separate folder. You can also choose how these emails are supposed to look here in the email template field. Email templates are highly customizable. And that's it. Save your entries. So this is the page where you can configure when and what types of notifications you want to receive. What are these steps for then? In the Alerts tab, you can see all elements with the alert rules to which you are subscribed, and you can delete and create more alerts right from here. In this tab, you can see all favorite folders created by you and any other ones that were created by other users and were shared with you. Basically, this table duplicates what you see on the left part of the home page, but you can create new folders from here. And also manage, share, duplicate and delete them if your user account has been granted such privileges. Bursts tab shows all the bursts you have created or those you are subscribed to. To understand the concept of bursts, we recommend you watch another 2-minute video which explains everything in detail. The link is in the info box. And schedules. I mentioned them before. You can personalize the sending process and create a schedule with the best time for digests or bursts to be sent to you. All schedules you create here are going to be considered personal and visible only to you. As a matter of practice, you only need to configure your notifications once and then just enjoy comfort of being kept up to date with the changes or, well, emergencies, if any. Now you know how to do it, but if you have any questions, feel free to contact our support team at support at metricinsights.com.